Hazak Ubauch. Good morning, Murai Vabotai Bez Hashem. Minha is going to be 7.45. Please be on time. Uh, the halacha that we discussed yesterday about a deceased person, there is an interesting halacha in the Gemara about a baby who's born on the eighth month. He's not a full term baby and he's not a seventh month baby. He's exactly in the eighth month. The Gemara says a baby that is born in the eighth month cannot live. In the Gemara's time, such babies that were born in the eighth month were not able to survive. It was impossible for them to survive. It's interesting because seven months and nine months, they were able to survive, but eight months, if it was born, it was not able to survive. And therefore, the Gemara says that if a baby is born in the eighth month, it is asul for the mother to nurse him on Shabbat, and it is asul for anybody to move him on Shabbat, because his status of muktzeh, since he's not going to live. Of course, in today's time, modern technology, uh, it is important to clarify, halakha doesn't change. Halakha doesn't change, but circumstance does change. And what basically they were able to invent, whatever time ago, uh, incubator. An incubator, what it does, is essentially mimics the womb of the mother. So halakha doesn't change, but the mitziu changed that now an eighth month baby can actually be extended to a ninth month baby by just putting him in an incubator, which effectively acts the same way as a womb asks. Acts And therefore, in today's day and age, even if you knew for a fact that a baby was born in the eighth month, you would be able to move him around, you would be able to feed him, you'd be able to treat him exactly and opposite. If you were to rule like the Gemara, if you were to say, no, it's asul to do this, it's asul to do that, you'd be doing a very serious violation. So it comes out that the halakha effectively changes, but the circumstance it's because of the circumstance, it's not because of uh, the Torah, chas v'shalom, in any sense changing, it's just the surrounding area changes. It's like to say that uh, if the Torah commands us on a certain mitzvah when it's, when it's a clear day, but then it starts raining, Torah didn't command, and it started raining, it's nothing changed. It's when this is the situation is like this, then you do like that. If the situation is like that, you do like this. And therefore, halakha le a baby that's born in the seventh month, the eighth month, the ninth month, does not have the status of muktzeh and he's able to be fed and everything else. As a matter of fact, you should know, Ravadja takes it even a step further that because the incubator is like a womb, so it actually, it can, it's viewed as if the baby is only really born after he's taken out of the incubator. And that's really considered uh, the birthday, first of all, in terms of Brit Milah, and second of all, in terms of Pidyon Ben, and it could even be in terms of Bar Mitzvah, we only view him to be bar mitzvah after he leaves the incubator because it's so much so similar to the womb that it doesn't even have the status as if he was born yet in halakha until he doesn't need any more the incubator. Baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen ve'amen.